What is up everybody, Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. Today, I need you to buckle up because we're gonna be doing a whole bunch. Everything you just heard in the beginning of this video was generated <laughs> with either Scalar 2 or Melody Sauce 2. So we're talking about music theory plugins today and when you put these two in combination with one another, the, the sky is the limit. It's so cool and I'm really excited to share it with you. That being said, let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. The first thing I wanna do is decide my chord progression. That's a very common way to start your music and I'm gonna do it with Scalar 2 for obvious reasons. And I'm just gonna come in and do something very simple like the C minor scale. I'm gonna go one, five, four, back down to one. I'm gonna right click the play button. So Scalar starts and stops with my transpose inside of my DAW. I'm gonna click the loop. And let's see what we got. Okay, I'm at 110 BPM and that's going way too fast for me. So what I can do is hit the edit button, come into playback timings. And if I just select all four of those chords, I can really slow it down. And I know that's really slow and the Fel Piano as much as I love it, when it's slowed down that much, it kind of has this kind of, I don't know, like a ringy sound to it on the tail end. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is just switch to soft piano to remove that sound. Boom. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So now I've got my chord progression. Now inside of Scalar 2, obviously we have the performance bit where we have melodies. If I turn that on, we've got uh, strumming, phrases, rhythms, and this all really, really great. But what I want to do is actually use the brand new Melody Sauce 2 from Eva Beat. It's actually really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag Melody Sauce onto a channel here. I can just make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to go ahead and solo it. There is so much new inside of Melody Sauce 2. First of all, we've got these new creation styles and we've got so many of them. So depending on what type of music you're going or making, you can easily just come in here. So if I come into like hip hop, you hit this button, it generates a melody. If I hit that again, new melody. So the way this works is every time you hit uh, the button or any button that you can, it will generate a new melody. And whenever you switch your creation mode to say something like R&B, it will update everything to fit the sort of creation mode preset. The speed, the loop length, the octave, your groove information, the new sound. Um, this is now a sound generator. I believe it didn't have that before, but even if it did, it now is stacked with much more sounds. Look at all these different built-in sounds you can choose from. And every time you choose a creation mode, you can see that that will update along with everything else to give you the best sounding stuff. So I just got to hit here again to generate a new melody. Or what we can do is go to free and decide if we want simple, complex, or all the notes and com combination with light, dark, or all of the different feelings over here. For this particular track that I've got going on, it's got a really lush, slow piano and a really smooth kind of laid back beat. I'm thinking simple dark is the best way to go. So all I'll do is just click right there and I can choose the sound I want, something like keys. And again, maybe I want a little more complex and dark. And the cool thing about this is every time I do this, it's generating a new melody and it's saving all of the different melodies. And it's saving all of the different inf information for each one of those melodies. So you see, uh, remember I had the creation mode, the hip hop flute here on that melody one and it remembered all of that information. If I go back to melody five, it's gonna be the bell piano and all of the different information there. Let's go ahead and work with this in combination with our chords from Scalar. Before I do that though, I've got Imagine Synth, great synthesizer from Expressive E, and I'm just gonna use the MIDI from Melody Sauce. So tons of new sounds inside of here, but I've got one that I wanna use, so I'm just gonna output to MIDI, and I'm going to, here on the Imagine channel, choose Melody Sauce 2, Melody Sauce 2, have it set to in, and boom, we're good to go. 
So let's listen to that in combination with our chords. But remember, our chords were in C minor. So right now we're on C major, A minor, and I just need to find C minor, which is down here with A flat major. Remember, or if you don't know, this is the relative major and minor, which means the C minor and A flat major have the exact same notes in them. So they will work together very, very well. So I'm gonna choose that. And my melody has adjusted accordingly. So if I come in and solo that in my scalar, Sounds absolutely phenomenal. Let's go ahead and say extra dark and simple. And remember, as you're tr changing everything around, you're gonna be generating new melodies. The parameters over here do not generate a new melody, but anytime you generate or hit one of the boxes in here, it will. You can also harmonize. Harmonization just means they're adding a second note. So here it's a higher note, a mid-level note, a low note, and this one actually sounds really, really good as well. I'm going to leave it off for now. Perhaps we'll come back to that once we've got a little bit something to work with. Now, the fun doesn't stop there. So lots of new additions to Melody Sauce too. We've got the creation mode presets. We've got all of the built-in sounds. We also have built-in effects now, like reverb, delay, and chorus. And we also have the advanced editor. So if I click that and come in here, now we can actually adjust which chords Melody Sauce will use to generate the melody from. So if we pull open Scalar 2, for example, I've got C minor, G minor, F minor, C minor. I can easily come in here now and go C minor, G minor, F minor, C minor. And to use this now, what I need to do is turn on chord adjust. So now the chords will be adjusted or the melody will be adjusted to the chords. And we'll get what some might say a better cohesion between the chords and the melody. And just like before, if I click right here, we'll get a different melody. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, not only can we do that but we have controls over each one of the melodies for each one of the chord positions. So I can make it light or dark, I can change up the rhythm, or I can flip it. So essentially bring the high notes uh, down to the low position, bring the low notes up to the high position while keeping the same rhythm. It's very, very cool. If I hit rhythm on B, for example, we'll have a little asterisk, which will show me that it's changed. So we have a pattern here. We've got A to B, back to A, so the same pattern or the same rhythm there, and then to C. And it's that simple. So now we have a melody going with our chords. Let's add another instance of Scalar here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that initial version of Scalar, okay? And I'm going to send that MIDI information to another instance of the Imagine Synth. Oh wait, I gotta go to from Scalar to Scalar 2, set it to In. And in Scalar here, I'm gonna keep my chord progression, but I'm gonna turn performances on and I'm gonna come into bass and I'm gonna come into urban and let's just choose urban nine. I already know that's gonna work. And I really like that, but I do wanna change the inversion to negative one on the second chord here. And 
if we listen to everything together now. It's really, really driving. And remember, that was all pretty much generated um, with the help of these music theory tools. I'm just going to go ahead and change it up again, maybe a couple more times, and just flip through them to see which one I like best. So for example, maybe melody eight is the first set of melodies. Then we have melody nine, which is the bridge. And then we go into melody 10 for the cook. I don't particularly like what it's done for the B. So what I can do is just hit the rhythm and maybe hit dark again and just see what that sounds like now. And it's that simple. That sounds much better than it had originally. And all I had to do was click two buttons. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I'm pretty excited about it. I dig the beat that I've made here and I dig the one that I made before. They're similar in some instances just because I'm using the same chord progression and I'm using the same bass pattern that I did in the original one, but the melody is different and it will be different each and every time. And now with Melody Sauces 2, new capabilities, you just have more control over the randomness and you can really hone in on something that sounds great for the project you're working on. Anyway, as usual, I'm Joshua Casper. Links to everything will be in the video description. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.